Chapter 15 The World of Birds We will learn Feathers How do birds fly? Flying differently Feet and claws of birds Beaks and food habitats of birds Birds are the most beautiful creatures on the earth. We all enjoy to see them and also like to listen the chirping of birds. Many birds can fly with the help of their colorful wings. Some of the features that distinguish birds from other animals are wings, feathers, beaks and claws. Feathers A bird's body is covered with feathers. Feathers are of different colors in different birds. There are three kinds of feathers. Down feathers. These feathers cover the body and keep it warm. They are small and fluffy. Body feathers. These feathers cover the body and give a shape to it. Flight feathers. Flight feathers are long and flat feathers in the wings and tail. They help the bird to fly. How do birds fly? The unique feature of birds is that they have wings which make them able to fly in air. A bird flaps its wings in both the upward and the downward direction to fly. These movements of birds are called upstroke and downstroke respectively. When a bird reaches higher in the sky, it does not need to flap its wings. The tail of a bird acts like the rudder of a boat. It helps the bird to change its direction during the flight. Flying differently Birds like eagle, vulture and kite fly at great heights. Some birds like sparrow and bulbul fly low. Fact file Cranes are the tallest flying birds. An ostrich is taller than a crane, but it is a flightless bird. Birds like crow and pigeon fly over long distances. Some birds, like hen, fly only short distances. They usually walk on legs. Flightless birds Birds like kiwi, emu, ostrich, penguin do not fly at all because their bodies are too heavy. These birds are called flightless birds. They move on with the help of their legs. Aquatic birds Birds that live in water are the aquatic birds. They spend most of their time either floating on the surface of water, diving to catch fish, swimming gracefully or simply wading through the water. These birds have oil glands which do not allow their feathers to get wet or spoiled by water. They have webbed toes which help them to swim in water. Ducks, swans, pelicans, gulls and cranes are common aquatic birds. Feet and Claws of Birds all birds have two feet. Most birds have four toes on each foot and all birds have a claw at the tip of each toe. The feet and claws of the birds are very useful for them. The claws help the bird in perching, walking, climbing and swimming. They also help in catching, holding and eating the food. The claws also protect the birds from their enemies. Let us know about some common types of feet and claws of birds. Scratching birds Birds like hens and quails have strong feet with three toes in front and one short toe at the back. Each of these toes has a sharp horny claw to scratch the ground. These birds scratch the ground to bring out the buried food, seeds and insects from the ground. These birds walk and run on the ground. Perching birds. Some birds like crow and sparrow have four toes in their feet. Three in front and one at the back. These toes help such birds in perching, that is to hold the branch of a tree very firmly to rest or even sleep at night without falling. These birds may also hop on the ground. Birds of prey. Birds like eagle, vulture, hawk and owl are flesh eaters. They have very strong feet with sharp claws called talons to catch and hold their prey firmly. These birds may carry their prey from long distances. Swimming birds Birds like duck, pelican and swan are expert swimmers. They have webbed feet. Their feet have special webs of skin between toes. A webbed foot is like a paddle. 
web toes help birds to push back water while swimming climbing birds birds like parrots and woodpeckers have four toes two pointing upwards and two downwards these toes help the bird to cling to the bark of trees and to climb up fat file flamingos stand on both legs while they feed when they rest they stand on one leg because this helps them keep their balance better wading birds birds that walk over shallow water are called wading birds birds like crane heron and paddy birds have thin and long feet with wide spreading toes these toes keep the feet safe from sinking in the soft mud running birds the ostrich is a running bird it cannot fly it has very long and strong legs for running it is the only bird that has only two toes on each foot beaks and food habits of birds birds do not have hands and teeth they use their beak to catch and hold food birds eat grain seed fruits and flesh their beak tear bite chisel and crush the food different birds have different types of beak its shape and size depend on their food habits some birds use their beaks to fight with the enemy or catch the prey or use it to clean the feathers short and broad beak the swallow has a short and broad beak which is sticky inside these birds move round and round in the air keeping their beaks open during flight the small flying insects enter the beak and get stuck inside the mouth short hard and horny beak birds like sparrows pigeons and peacocks eat nuts grains and seeds they have short hard pointed and horny beaks to break the food into small pieces and pick them easily sparrow pigeon peacock curved beak a parrot has a curved beak it helps it to crack nuts and hard fruits the curved beak also helps it to climb the parrot unlike other birds move the upper part of its beak broad and flat beak a duck has broad and flat beak it has tiny holes called shovels at the sides and fine holes called strainers all along the edges such a beak helps the duck to dig the mud near the pond to pick up insects worms and water plants water and mud flow out from the strainers and shovels leaving insects worms and water plants to be eaten strong sharp and hook shaped beak birds like eagle vulture hawk kite and owl have strong sharp and hook shaped beaks this type of beak helps them in tearing the flesh into small pieces eagle vulture hawk broad long and pointed beak birds like stork and kingfisher have broad long and pointed beaks they help them to catch fish from the water strong and heavy beak a woodpecker has a strong and heavy beak this type of beak is also called chisel shaped beak this beak helps it to pick up food and to make holes in the trunks of the trees long thin and pointed beak a sunbird has a long thin and pointed beak it helps the bird to suck the nectar from flowers long and slender beak birds like hoopo and cattle egret have a long and slender beak it helps it to pull out insects from their hiding places keyword fluffy flossy upstroke upward movement downstroke downward movement points to recall birds are the most beautiful creatures on the earth feathers are of different colors in different birds a bird flaps its wings in both the upward and the downward direction to fly the tail of a bird acts like the rudder of a boat the claws of a bird help the bird in perching walking climbing and swimming different birds have different types of beaks its shape and size depend on their food habits